Good morning everybody, how are you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, just a quick video really, I mean you hear a lot of conversation and uh, people moaning about the GSX R1000R exhaust. And yeah, admittedly it does look like a dustbin. <laughs> um, it's fairly heavy, but what I'm going to show you today is that there's not actually that much difference between this ugly dustbin and this little beauty here. The Yoshimuri R11, which is absolutely beautiful. It's also uh, the carbon carbon model, which I love. Um, it's got a removable baffle here. So yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. But I've still got the baffle in at the moment. So so yeah, I will stress that these uh, scales they're not calibrated in any way, shape, or form. They're purely just kitchen scales, so this is just a you know just a a rough um, you know guide on on the difference in weight. So anyway, here we have it. <coughs> the OEM uh, Suzuki exhaust is coming in at three thousand and five grams, which is just over three kilos. Obviously, um, it's fairly heavy. Uh, yeah. Non-removable baffle, I believe, in this one. Not that you'd probably want to keep it on the bike. Most people remove it. So yeah, that's the Suzuki OEM standard exhaust. All right, now the Yoshimura R11, still fairly heavy. Um, we're going to stick that on the scales, and we're going to have a look at the difference in in uh, in weight there. Right. So what we got there? Two thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. Two thousand seven hundred and thirty-eight. Okay, let's do some working out then. So <sighs> OEM Suzuki coming in at three thousand and five grams, and the Yoshimura R11 two seven three eight two seven three eight. So the difference there, I've already worked out, two hundred and sixty-seven grams, which isn't an absolute massive difference uh, in the weight of the exhaust here. So. Make your own minds up on that one uh, regarding the difference in weight loss. Um, but yeah, there you go. I mean, obviously the uh, Yoshimura R11 is um, much better looking exhaust pipe here. And yeah, like I say, it's got the removable baffle. I tend to run with it in. Keep on the right side of the law, of course, Mr. Officer. <laughs> anyway, um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, if you can you can swap these over in a matter of minutes it's literally anyone can do it and i'll show you it's such an easy easy modification this to do so don't think oh god you know anyone with any minimal skills mechanical skills whatsoever that you know this can be done i believe it's a 12 mil spanner and uh, an allen key you know or an allen socket not a problem whatsoever and i'll, and I'll show you this no problems whatsoever i'm not going to show you this one back on the bike because everyone knows you know what that looks like so yeah we're going to put this one on the r11 and uh yeah right so as you can see the old or the original exhaust is off here um there's your exhaust gasket there so we're going to leave that on there i've left the heat shield on there so uh, we don't need to touch that we're not going to be touching that at all so anyway simple as this on it goes slide it over the the gasket <coughs> all the way down line that hole up there with the exhaust hanger yeah oh, heavy breathing heavy breathing <laughs> okay so slide the heat shield and the and the, the clamp over the the bracket there the clamp simply Tighten that up, <coughs> slide the hanger bolt through with the washer on the other side and the nut. So yeah, 12 mil, 12 mil spanner on there, nip that up nicely, not too tight and then the clamp Make sure it's nice and square there, nice and tight, and that my friends is it, that's the Yoshimura R11 carbon slip-on exhaust on, and that took less than a minute, 
Yeah, as I was saying earlier about the baffle, should you want to remove the baffle, I know a lot of you do remove the baffles, you simply remove the grommet, this little rubber grommet there, and inside there's a little Allen bolt, I think it's about an M6 Allen bolt, but if you're going to remove it, just bear in mind that there is a washer on the bolt as well, so you don't want that rattling around if you, if, if you lose it. Slide the baffle out, piece of cake, and then put the bung back in. Job done. Okay, so I guess you want to hear what it sounds like. The Yoshimura R11. I'll just open the door a little bit. Don't want to smoke myself out. Yeah, last thing I want to do is smoke myself out. It's not good for your lungs. That'll probably do. Sounds lovely that. Not gonna give not gonna rev the arse off it because the bike's cold at the moment. It's very important to remember not to do that when you get on your bike. Give your bike plenty of time to warm up. But yeah. Sounds absolutely beautiful that. So anyway, yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video. Just a quick uh, overview on stock exhaust can versus aftermarket and to be fair this is one of the one of the ones what goes very well with the suzuki brand of motorcycle so anyway take care and um, see you for the next video